In this video, I'll take you step by step on how to make a US PayPal account as a non-US resident. As you can see, I'm from the Netherlands and I'll show you from beginning to end on how I created this American PayPal account with the US LLC. Whether you need it for access to US payment platforms, receive money in USD or having fewer banking restrictions, this method works for everyone. Whether you live in Europe like me or for example in Africa. So by the end of this video, you have a fully functional US PayPal account that you can use to receive payments and send money. So here's what we will cover today. First, I'll show you the essential requirements you need before we even start. We need a US LLC, a proper US VPN, a US bank and phone number, and then with that, I'll show you how to make your PayPal account. It's gonna be a comprehensive tutorial, so let's dive right in. Step one is setting up your US LLC. The great news is that anyone in the world can legally form a US LLC, even if they're not a US citizen. And for this PayPal setup, so with the formation of our LLC, this is what we're going to get. We're gonna get our company registration, our LLC name and the business address, and the EIN number. And this stands for Employer Identification Number. And this is important because it will function as our SSN number. Then to set up an LLC, we need a US registered agent. And I personally recommend using Northwest Registered Agent. I've used them multiple times and they make the whole process really straightforward. They'll handle all the paperwork for you, get you registered with the state and also help you obtain your EIN. For Northwest, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can follow along. So let me walk you through the process. So when you click that link, you'll be brought here to the registered agent service. And the first step is deciding the state of our LLC. As you can see, we have many choices in the US, but basically there are two options. Wyoming and Delaware. Both states have 0% state income tax to foreigners and both options are solid and will cost you around $125. Now for PayPal, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. So I will go here and then I will select Delaware and then I will click on higher Northwest. Then as we can see, the correct state has been selected. So we can click on continue. Now we need to come up with our LLC name. Now this can be anything, but it shouldn't be in use yet. I will use something like Echowave Media. You can ask ChatGPT for help as well. This really isn't that important. Then we make sure that this is left like this. We click on continue. Then you want to fill in your contact information, click continue, create your account for Northwest. And then for the optional items, you don't really need to select anything here. Nothing here is going to be required and it's going to cost you more. So we simply hover over to the payment and then you want to make the payment and Northwest will get all the documents for you. Okay, so now that the LLC is formed, we got everything we need. We got the company formation file in PDF. We got our LLC address in Delaware and we also got our EI number and PDF for that that we can use to set up our accounts. Now you also want to open a US business bank account. The two services I recommend most are Mercury and Relay. Both of these are online banks that work well with international business owners and the application process is entirely online. For Mercury, for example, the steps are super simple and straightforward. You need to fill in your details and also the details of your LLC, such as your EIN number here, your LLC business address and upload the documents of your company registration. All right, now we got the business setup entirely done. Let's move over to creating your PayPal account. First, as I said, we need a high quality VPN for this to work. So when I go to PayPal.com, you can see right here I have this message switch to the Netherlands side because I am currently in the Netherlands. We need to appear like we are from the USA or else our application could get rejected. I personally use and recommend NordVPN because it's reliable, has good US servers and PayPal doesn't flag it. Using free VPNs really isn't recommended as PayPal often blocks those requests. And for NordVPN as well, I will leave a link down in the description below to use it. You simply want to download it on your PC like I have and then connect to a US server. So I simply mm -hmm. select United States and now as we can see, we are connected to the US and we have a US IP. If I now go back to PayPal and I refresh, the bar at the top should disappear, which it does. So PayPal now thinks I'm in the US. Then on PayPal, we're going to click on sign up at the top and now we see an option for personal and business. Obviously, I want to select business so we can use our LLC information and we click on get started. Now we need to enter in our first name, last name, email address and password to create the account. And once you fill that in, we can click on agree and continue. And then what I like to do straight away is to verify my email address as on my email inbox right here. I received this message, confirm your email. So I will simply do that right now before we continue. And now our email address has been confirmed. Then we can go back to the prompting and we can click on get started. So here we need to fill in what our business offers and you can simply fill in digital products. That is what I do. 
but just fill in what is closest to what you offer. Where do you want to sell it? Again, you can fill in anything right here. I'm gonna select social media and click next. How do you accept payments? I'll select payment link and online checkout. But again, this really doesn't matter. And then we can click next again. Here I will select one-time payment and click next. And for these specific tools for our checkout options, we can click set up later. Now we need to choose which type of account we need to make. And we can choose between three options, individual seller or sole proprietor, a company or a non-profit. Now we have a single owner LLC, which means we need to choose individual right here. And then for the business type, select individual or LLC single owner and click on next. And this is first where we fill in our date of birth. And then we need to fill in our home address. It says where you live most of the year. However, it's really important. You want to use your LLC's registered agent address, not your personal address. This keeps everything consistent with your US business entity. And for me, it was the address in Delaware. And then down here, paper will ask you for your social security number. And this is where you want to enter in your EIN number instead. Your EIN will serve as the business equivalent of an SSN. So PayPal will accept it for business accounts. And now we have the phone number left. And for the verification, we need a US phone number. Now, PayPal is pretty strict about this, and they don't accept most virtual numbers. But there's a service called Receive SMS where you can rent your own dedicated US number that works with PayPal. I'll leave a link down below for the site. You simply want to make an account and then you claim your own US phone number, as you can see I have right here. And it allows you to use this for verification. So I'm simply going to copy this number, go to phone on uh, PayPal, and then I'm going to click next. Okay, then we need to fill in our business information. So for the name, we want to use exact LLC name in our formation. And for me, that was Echo Wave Media like this. Then our trading name will be the same for my case. But if you want something else to be displayed, you can use that as well. Then for the product or service, I'm simply going to select digital. So I'm going to type that in. Digital goods, media books, movies, music, that's totally fine. Do you have a business website? You can simply select no if we don't have one. And then what's your business contact info? We can simply click this box and it's gonna use the automatic same address as our LLC in Delaware. Then once we fill this in, we click next. And now PayPal is going to ask you to verify your identity. For this, I strongly recommend using your international passport. It's the most universally accepted form of ID and PayPal rarely has issues with passports from any country. So here you want to select the document type and you want to select passport and then upload your passport right here. You can simply use a scan of your passport with your phone. Okay, there we go. Now we get the message, your PayPal account has been verified. In the meantime, you can link a bank for easy transfer later. So let's click on link a bank. Now we want to choose our bank account and I created a Mercury account. So I'm going to type in Mercury right here. If you chose another bank, for example, Relay, obviously search for that one. Here's Mercury. And then from here, we can either click agree and continue and then sign in with our Mercury account from here. You simply want to fill in the email address and the password of your Mercury account, and then it will link to it. However, if that's not an option for you, we can also click on add bank manually instead right here, and then fill in our routing and account number. I'm currently in my Mercury account. As you can see, this is my checking account. Here you will see the routing number, then here the account number. But you simply want to fill it in right here on PayPal select checkings and then authorize and link. Then PayPal will make two small deposits to your bank account, usually between one and 99 cents. Once you then see the deposits in your bank account, you need to go back to PayPal and confirm the exact amounts to prove that you own that bank account. Okay, as you can see right here, I'm now in the dashboard of my PayPal account, currently no money on there obviously, but I can now send money here from my Mercury business account and also receive it. Now, as we can see in the email section, the email has been verified as well as the phone number and everything is set up correctly. Now I would recommend you to simply customize the account right here in settings to your likings. Now at the start, we know that PayPal can be tricky when having an account. So here's the strategy what I would recommend. Start small and gradually increase your transaction amounts. Your first transaction could be an invoice of $25, then $50, then $100 and so on. This pattern looks natural to PayPal and what I would absolutely not do is just from the beginning send a thousand dollars on here. Also sometimes PayPal will ask for additional information, especially on new business accounts like ours. They might ask you to confirm your business details again or provide additional documentation. Don't panic if this happens, it's totally normal. Just provide the information they're asking for using your LLC documents. And here's something absolutely critical. Make sure your VPN is always turned on when accessing your PayPal account. 
If PayPal sees you're logging in from your real location after creating an account from a US IP, that's going to raise red flags. Just make it a habit, VPN first, then logging into PayPal, every single time. Also, if you want to make payments and use a credit card, you can use the business debit card of PayPal, which they will show right here, but you can also connect a credit card that you already have. We can go to finance, we can go to banks and cards, and then we scroll down till we find credit and debit cards and click link a card. And then this is where you want to fill in that information for your card. But this is pretty much it guys. You now got your own fully working US PayPal account while being a non-resident. I've put all the links you need in the description for Northwest Registered Agent, NordVPN, Mercury and Relay, and the SMS service for the phone verification. Now, if this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.